Hello, Gemini. This is your reading for the 17th through the 18th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Let's see what's going on around you guys. It's challenging you. Why this is happening. Recent past. Oh. Something wanted to jump there. I'm going to take that. What's coming in? How are you feeling? The influence there. Your hopes. Your fears. And overall, I did go ahead and pull two cards for you guys. One from the Romance Angels and one from um, the Angel Prayer that we will... Um, read at the end, okay? So what's going on with you guys right now is the Knight of Swords. Anxious to speak about something here. I feel like there's somebody or something that you want to um, you want to address something. You want to speak the truth. And, and very anxious about it, I feel, okay? Let's see what your challenge is here. Uh, to see things clearly, okay? I think before you rush in, um, just make sure that you're clear on on what it is what reaction you would like to receive okay um knowing the truth seeing things for the way that they really are okay get your feelings in check is what i'm getting here okay let's see what's going on in the past oh uh, okay now i'm feeling that there's someone that has felt they were strong enough to walk away, to turn their back on you and, and face their own issues, their own demons here. Okay. Somebody is, is not, um, has turned their back for what, whatever that means for you guys, okay? Let's see why this is happening. The Knight of Wands, um, somebody is going towards something else that they're interested in, I feel. Okay. And I think you see this. I don't know what happened here. Maybe you guys, you know, you hid your feelings from someone here, okay? And now you want to tell them because, you know, they've kind of pulled away and they're like going out, dating, or what have you. But they have taken their attention away from um, the situation with you guys. So maybe here, your challenge is to actually tell this person how you feel, okay? So how you're seeing yourself is the King of Pentacles here. I think you guys are just working. Um, and I think that you are, you're looking into the future, okay? I think you're trying to get it together, like where you want to go from here. But I think your communication at this point may be a little, um, maybe a little aggressive, or maybe you don't communicate as well as, as you would like to. Okay, but I, because I'm feeling this need to like really kind of rush in and um, and say, hey, hold on, wait, but not really have it together. What exactly it is that you want to say to this person? Okay, so make sure you're clear. You know, if you do approach this individual, um, Leo energy here, but could be any other fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. But make sure you're clear and make sure that you know you don't hold anything back here. Okay, let's see what the best possible outcome is here. That you would definitely get balanced. Um, you, you will figure out what it is that you want to do, what you want to say, how much time you want to actually devote. Do you want to devote time here? Because maybe that is what you guys need to figure out. I mean, I feel the anxiety as far as like wanting to say th something to this person. But what are your intentions when you actually do reach out? Okay, do you want to be with this person or would you, you know, the fact that you are reaching out, um, like, would it, would it make a difference? And what is the difference that you're trying to make? You know, if you just wanted to stop this person from moving on, should you really reach out? You know, that sort of thing. Or do you want to reach out to this person because you want to be with them? So there's a need for you guys to be sure of what it is that you want if and when you do reach out. Okay? So what's coming in for you guys? Here is the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. 
I feel there's somebody here that is definitely single. Okay. And I see that they are um, basically have shown you that, hey, I'm single, I'm good. Okay. And I think, you know, there's something about this person that has sparked a, a, a change in you. And you're wanting to tell them something, okay? Virgo energy there. So it could be a Leo uh, slash Virgo, you guys are thinking about here. The influence here is that um, you really just don't know what the damn deal. Honestly, you're conflicted with yourself. Um, you kind of go back and forth about what action you should take. Maybe with this individual, you guys have had, you know, a lot of conflict um, within your relationship, not being able to see eye to eye, always butting head on, heads on issues and things of that nature. Okay, strong Leo in your, your reading here. Your hopes that this is the one. This is the one. This is the one I get from you guys here. Hmm. Your hopes is to follow your path. Okay. Your fear is that you guys will not be able to work together, come together, compromise, um, and grow from here. Okay. And the overall, we have the Queen of Cups facing out of the reading. Okay. So, you know... I'm getting that a lot of you guys are wanting, you know, to find the one, okay? Um, and, and you're feeling like this person may be the one. But I think that you're unsure. Because maybe before, you know, things didn't go so well between the two of you. You want to find the one, and but you're afraid that... You know, this person is the one, but that you guys, you know, will still have this conflict and still butt heads and this person not want to work with you or get back together with you or, you know, something of that nature. But in the overall outcome, I see, um, I see there is definitely love between the two of you guys, um, but I don't see you coming together, actually. I don't, I don't see that. Okay. So I think... The reason why you're probably not coming together is because there's a need. Your challenge here for today is to reveal your feelings, to be clear on what it is that you want and to speak that, to say that. Because that's probably why you guys are not coming together is because there is some ambiguity here. There's something that this person does not know about how you feel, okay? So we have Cancer, Aquarius, Capricorn, um, Leo is strong here, Virgo, hmm. yeah, could be any other sign, but those are the those those are the signs that are strongest here. Okay, so let's see what um, the Romance Angels has for you guys. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so be mindful of that. If you have hidden feelings, because I'm getting that this person does not know how you feel. Okay, or vice versa. Only you guys know, you know, your situations, this energy can be vice versa, but um, somebody here does not know how the other one feels. Okay, trustworthy friends. Thank you, angels, for surrounding me with people I can trust and love. Hmm. I think definitely you guys know that this person for you is the one. Okay. So if you know that, I feel like, you know, there's a need for you guys to open up and um, speak on it. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon.